We for it. My friends, I'm from Montana here and I am at the boat ramp. Uh, Black Point Moreno, my friends. Wait for it. Um, it is the very first day, guys, in a long time that we haven't had some rain. So we're going to film the boat ramps. It's, uh, it should get interesting. It should get. I don't know. Stick around. I don't know. But I'll tell you what. This is interesting right here. Yeah, that's interesting. Damn. The most famous towboat captain. A couple, maybe. They they got cabin fever. They're out. They're out and about. Cap captain Lance, guys, the most famous towboat captain in the world. Um, he's just gonna go do a jump, guys. He's just gonna go do a jump. But he said that he's gonna bring us in some victims, right? So, guys, let me tell you something. It's better to be uh, with Towboat US than without them. I just, that is my friendly advice if you come out on the water. Some people are starting to arrive here at Chicho Live. What are they looking at? They, they're seeing the manatee down there? Yeah. Let's see. They've been out and about, the manatees. What? The open? Um, I did it right. Todavía, todavía. You haven't come back. <laughs> this is what you're talking about, this open, open transom right back there? If it's a rough day and you have to go into reverse for whatever reason, it, it will be, be scary very fast. But I'm sure he has a way of closing that. I, I'm assuming, right? I don't like open transoms like that. I personally don't like it. Things, things, things happen. Things happen fast, dude. Let me tell you something. In, the, in, in, a, in a moment, things happen fast. People underestimate. I, I was on a contender one time. Um, I think it had like, a, a, not an open, yeah, it was kind of lower. And uh, we got in one of those crazy scenarios where we were in rough weather that just came in, like all of a sudden we we're anchored. And um, dude, in, in the fishing and the chilling and all that stuff, you, you didn't realize it. you got caught, the, it just came up on top of you. And then we couldn't get the, the anchor unhooked. And then you know that the owner of the boat is always like, Hell, I just paid $400 for that anchor. Hell no. And we're like, hey, bro, cut the anchor. Yeah, cut the anchor, bro. Listen. I was like, I was like, listen. No, hell no, I'm not. I go, bro, we're going to lose our life for a damn anchor? And, and he, bro, he was adamant, 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 adamant. And then and I, and I told him, I said, listen, just throw a line. We'll get one of your life vests. We'll tie the life vest to the damn thing, and we can come back. You know, but uh, no, bro, he, 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 well, listen, it was 400 bucks, bro, 400 bucks. I was like, I was, I was like, dude, first thing I would have done is like that. I would have cut it. And if I really cared about the anchor as much, I would have tied a life vest, one of those little $8 West Marine ones that you have to have on the boat and, uh, and come back and get it. And it'll essentially be a buoy. Right, and then, then you have all the time in the world to try to figure it out after the fact, right? But you're alive to do it. Listen, I get it. 
there's nothing that irritates you like that. You got something brand new you just spent a lot of money on, and then you're like, hell no, I'm gonna fight this. I've been, I've been in the same situation. I was, I was one time alone on my boat, far, fishing for, you know, pelagics and tuna and dolphin, maybe about 2,000, 1,800 feet on a rib boat. Well, long story short, it started getting, it got rough out there. And uh, I got seasick, which I normally don't. And I was like, oh boy, where, where does this go now? You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, you, you, do you call it? I was like, hey, I gotta call it. I went inside to about maybe a hundred, just because it was less bad. I anchored up and then I was good and I got seasick again. And then I got stuck. My anchor got stuck because I was catching bait at that time, waiting for, for me to feel better so I can go back out because I wanted to go back out. And then I was like, that's it, bro. I mean, I'm, I, I, I'm seasick. I'm, I'm, I'm already on the top, on the part of the, on the front of my bow of the boat. I'm already, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm throwing up here, I'm there. I was like, nah, bro, sorry. I didn't even put a buoy. I was like, you know what? Cut, I'm gone. In, in one of my rib fishing videos, I was with, with a buddy of mine's, one of the very first videos that I did on YouTube. So we're anchored out there and there's this big old sport fish. While we're anchored about maybe 150 feet of water, sport fish comes up. Bro, this guy, he, he, he goes about maybe 50, 50 feet, 100, 100 feet in front of us and starts messing around on the, on the bottom of the boat where he's not even driving. So he's, he's literally drifting right back into us. We're anchored. I'm here looking for the knife. My friend is like, yo, screaming at him. I'm screaming at him because think about it, that big old boat, it's gonna swallow you. You're, you're literally, we're, we're anchored. He, the, the back of his boat hits the bow of my boat, my, my, my bow goes under, I'm done. Now the, the advantage that I have is that I'm on a rib boat, but still, I was anchored. Because if, if I wasn't anchored, that's fine. Could crash into me and I'm just gonna drift, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I got the bumpers of the, of the Hypalon tubes. No, bro, but you know what? Like, come on, bro, you, you're, you're at a spot and somebody's gonna drift right on top of you? Come on, man. Like at that, at that point, that's why, why people end up on the news. Like, you know, how did this happen? You know, when, when people just do like stupid stuff because that, that's just... Back, back, back to the no common sense. Well, you know, that's not even common sense. That's already like, you're a straight up, you know, yeah. D with the, you know, at that point. It's like fishing, man, yeah? Bro, the ocean is so big. You wanna come and fish right there. Yeah. Right there yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and, but you see, those, those are moments, you know how like... Well, you know, you know, I've always wondered how somebody can, can get a, your car keyed or your boat keyed, you know? Like, it takes a lot for somebody to show that much anger to do something to you, like, you're, so, I, that confirms you're a special human being that you you attract that type of anger Because I have yet to do it and I and bro. I, I filmed the chit show, you know, so Look I'm, I'm doing the dinghy series Which is a little inflatable with 2.5 or a 4 horsepower that I have out there People see a small little boat out there and they just pass right in front of you, waking you out. Like, bro, like, if I were on a skiff, I'd, I'd be submerged for sure, 100%. But I'm on, I'm on a rib boat, I, I see it coming, you know? I have to be defensive when I'm, when I'm on, the, on the water. But people that have no common sense, they'll see, they'll see a, a dive flag, they still come close. We're talking about etiquette, my friends. Boating etiquette. Do you have any, yay or nay? Over here in South Florida, guys, it doesn't exist. 
It does not exist. Yeah, that's a cool video to watch, that one when we were fishing. It's on my channel. Um, I gotta... I didn't jump off, I, I, I was about to cut the line. Well, yeah, th that, that, that day was, it, my friend had just finished catching some parrot fish. We were going after some mutton. The current was ripping. It was ripping. And then that guy came up to us and, and I'm like, dude, there's an entire ocean here, bro. And this guy comes up on us. Que se ha cogido. Sigue para adelante y tú vas a ver. Sigue para adelante. All right, so, so interesting developments, guys. If you've been watching the channel the last couple of days, or in this case, we've had some major flooding here in the Cutler Bay area. Major flooding. Wait for it. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got over here? What do we do? We waste some SD card on a flat boat fisherman with a tiller. Do we? Do we? Does he get it? Yay or nay? What do you guys think? Comment below. Oh, the Toyota's coming back into the water. Hold on, guys. I'm not gonna spend. Why am I gonna spend time on you, dude? Come on. Chicho's right here. Oh boy. Damn. Oh, wait a second. Oh my goodness. I'm here thinking these people were... I'm here thinking that these guys were... Oh boy, what a chicho. That thing's going on the other side of the ramp. Um, I'm thinking they're leaving. But apparently he didn't remove his toe strap. These guys feel like they're vindicated. That was terrible!
terrible. Not you guys. You guys are next. Good, man. Working hard. Oh, look, look what we got over here. Well, I want to just say that I feel extremely blessed because in that flood uh, that I filmed, it's kind of crazy, guys. If you didn't miss, if you if you did not meet One Way Sasha, the dog, you have to. Um, my audio, my audio transmitter was completely underwater, helping some guy uh, try to save his dog, and. Um, I put it in rice and I let it in the, in the sun that we got for like 20 minutes over here in Cutler Bay. And um, I don't know, comment below if, you, if I sound like I'm, I'm pretty good, right? Do I sound like I got good audio or what? I think so. Wow, look at this color. I haven't seen this. I, I'm, I'm, I like green, guys. That's my favorite color, so. Had some people come and join me over here for a little while from Jacksonville. Saying hello. Oh, boy, this guy's coming in hot. Oh, he's picking up people. He's picking up these people here. No, he's not picking anybody up. He's, he's actually, he's got an army of people to help him dock at the boat ramp. Damn, this guy's doing it right. Hey guys, I need you to work part-time today. Um, I'm coming back to the boat ramp. We for it. How cool would it be right now? He just pulls out his checkbook, uh, gives them their check, and they're off to enjoy their Saturday. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm here talking shit. I'm still wondering how we got to 675 in gas. It just doesn't make sense to me, but who am I to know? I mean, let's see what's going on with these guys. I love me some pelicans. Guys, I have yet to see Fred. Um, we have seen another crocodile. Um, we have seen another crocodile at uh, in one of the canals back here. And uh, just guess, just look look at my video section. Just type in on, on my channel, go to the video section where it says videos and you'll see the order in which I upload videos. So you don't have to depend on YouTube to show you what videos are out and about. So most of you guys just see it on your front page and you're like, oh great, Alfred just put up a video. There's videos that you don't end up seeing because they don't make your homepage. So just go to my channel, go to the video section, and you'll see in order. I try to keep things in synchronal. I, I try to keep them in the same order as they're filmed, right? So that you guys can find them easily if you wanted to get more information on something. All right, so. So these guys are, are definitely working. Wow, dude, this was this would be a horrible bloop bloop bloop. You got the welder back there and everything. Damn. Oh man, he lost it. So, so the, the current is, since the dam is open because all the flooding has happened, right? The dam is pushing from the right side of the, from here towards the left, which traditionally the current normally goes from left to right over here, right? But so, so since the dam is open, it's kind of changing that a little bit right now. See what's going on over here with these guys. Oh, 
I'm still wondering what the hell happened with my life. This would have been alive, guys. This would have been alive. And the, normally the lives are kind of slow, right? But there's always something crazy that happens. So I kind of find it really, really ironic. I've been seeing some, you know, Lake Mead videos. The Lake Mead is essentially drying up. And a couple of content creators are making some videos out of that area. And uh, long story short, the place is, it has no water. And, and over here, we're trying to avoid getting more water. That's how, how much rain. I can tell you within the last month and a half, we probably had two feet of rain over here in, in, in this part of uh, Miami. It's Cutler Bay, right? Whew. Wow, let me tell you. Um, we even took out the smaller dinghy, the little Zodiac. And uh, I let my daughter Alyssa play around with it when uh, we got one of these nasty little storms. Because everything is just so saturated that it, it, it's hard to put the, the water anywhere. They're pumping as much as they can, but those pumps can't keep up with Mother Nature. Here's the work truck. <laughs> Uh-oh, I've just been spotted. Oh boy. What is this going on here? This is why you get the crew to come out first. Guys, before you go to your first stop, I need you guys to Take me off. Caballero, está grabando. Van a perder el welder. No joda. Look how cool this is. Dude, this is cool. This looks pretty cool. I wonder if that's got four wheel drive. Look, look, they're, they're coming, they're coming out, guys. I'll get back to them. Let's see, let's see what this, this is like one of these mobile home slash camper RV 2022 style. If it has four-wheel drive, that would be badass. On a serious note, um, if you guys um, need uh, snake handling abilities, I'm doing that part-time over here in South Florida. So just let me know. Uh, I specialize in water moccasins. Anacondas, I don't go up to 20 feet, guys. 20 feet is, is a little unmanageable for me. So, um, comment below if, uh, if you need my services. I don't know. I'm kind of digging this little, look at that, look at that little roof rack and everything. I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna ask him if that has four wheel drive. Hey, does that camper have four wheel drive? Damn, he couldn't hear me. It's, 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 mm. all right, let's use yards. Cause over here in America, we use yards. From where I'm filming to where he's at, um, he's, he's at it's 70 yards. Yeah. 
Like, what are you recording for? The Chit Show on YouTube. Oh, really? So, you do that? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I do the Chit Show on YouTube. Oh, wow. And I film the boat ramps and stuff like that. Nah, we're here having a good time, man. Whatever happens. It's always a good time over here. What are you guys cleaning up? Yeah, we do beach cleanup. Uh, we're part of the Nice, man. Uh, it's a nonprofit I started about a year ago with some of our friends. Nice, dude. That's awesome. So, so come here. Let me talk to you. Come here so maybe, maybe we can plug what you do. Sure. All right, guys. We have... How old are you, first of all? Uh, I'm 16 years old. 16? And you opened up this nonprofit? Yeah, about a year ago. Nice. I really like your equipment here. It's really nice. Thank you. So, so what's your name? Uh, my name's Hunter. Hunter, uh, and you guys are cleaning up right now. Yeah, this is a friend of my name, Angie, and her, uh, her friend Keanu. Angie and Keanu. Yeah. So what are you guys doing? You're cleaning up back here? Yeah, so we're cleaning the beaches because it's our, uh, basically it's our, like, it's our nonprofit and it's our mission to create a network of volunteers. Okay, cool. With, like the goal of them being able to earn community service hours and cleaning up the beaches. Nice. So far we've donated like $1,000 to the American Medical Hospital. So oh, nice. I've been to that hospital. Yeah, and it's really, you know, it's a really nice hospital. We, you know, I'm really glad we got to donate money towards them and help out, you know, like the tourism. And so, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been really fun. We've met a lot of people. We have over 100 members now. And so, you know, we've, we had like a little program. And uh, anywhere, where can they find you online? Uh, you can, they can find us on Instagram. What is it? And, uh, uh it should be, is it Keith Trophy? No, I think it's Turtle Team underscore Florida. Yeah, it should be Turtle Team underscore Florida. Turtle team underscore Florida. Why do you young people put like underscore? <laughs> uh, I mean, us old people don't remember that stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. like, it's like, Aframontan underscore, blah, 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 Chicho <laughs> underscore, yeah. over here now underscore. Yeah, they say like on YouTube, you have like, like, it's like five letters, right? So L listen, the, the on YouTube, less is more. Right? On anything, less is more. When, when you want to capture old people, less is more. You guys, you copy and paste everything. Yeah. We still don't know how to copy and paste on our computers. <laughs> but, um, so listen, one more last time, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug you guys so that people on my channel, because it's important to me to do these cleanups. Yeah, thank you um, so much. We, and we've done them. We've done them here on my channel as well. So what, what is it again? Uh, team, uh, tur turtle team, turtle team underscore Florida. And that'll be on Instagram. And that'll be on Instagram, guys, because they don't do Facebook because we're old, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you mean exactly? <laughs> all right, guys. Well, check them out. That's awesome. I see them here cleaning up right here. If you guys stand all the way back there, I can film you guys doing what you're doing. If you don't mind. Sure, yeah. I mean, all right, I'll show you guys. Give you guys credit for, for working hard over here. Everybody you know has seen my videos? My dad loves boats. He's been in boats since he was a little kid. Uh-huh. So, you know, sometimes he'll show me a video of you got on your channel. There you go. Well, listen up, guys. Thank you so much for doing what you do. Did you guys get a lot of stuff? Is that what you got? Yeah, that's what we got so far. We have, like, uh, 20 people out here today or, some, or so. Let me see that bag. Uh, I'm going to zoom into that bag. There you go. Hey, guys, that's awesome to see you guys doing this. Yeah, Keep you. on uh, doing it, man. Good to see that, guys. Look at that. Summer and the kids are out here volunteering their time to make sure that our waters are, are free of your junk. So I guess the biggest way we can help them is, first of all, make sure that we don't drop our stuff in the ocean, right? Um, and then uh, if you can pick something up, great. See, those moments happen a lot. And that's why I kind of like to keep these uh, videos unedited. So we've got 20 people volunteering back here. That's awesome. Look, 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 look at, look at this. Guys, I'm dying to do a video. I'm dying to do a video of how these guys do this entire process with the forklift and I'm dying to do it. And I did get some information, guys. Um, Look, they're putting it on the stand, ready to clean up and all that stuff. That's where they'll clean them up. Now, this has, it was SunTex, then it became Loggerhead, now it's Loggerhead again. So it's Loggerhead now, again. Hey, man, What's up, man? What are you guys doing? Hey, hey this is the first time in about two weeks that we haven't had rain. It's coming later. It's coming later? 
Wait for it. Guys, we're, we're gonna get some nasty rain in the afternoon. Damn, man, I'm kind of dinging this. I don't know. I would like to see what it looks like inside. Look at this CV. Looks like a 39. So here's the thing, right? Um, a lot of people will end up going in the summers to Bimini, but um, that thousand dollar trip that you would normally spend in fuel is now 2,000. So I wonder how that's gonna slow things up. And, and for those of you guys, um, you do not need to show that that are coming to the US. You do not, they just, U.S. just stopped the uh, PCR testing before you come to the United States. So um, I would still look uh, at the latest information if you're going to come travel here. But a, a lot of the restrictions and requirements are are being undone. So that's obviously a good thing. So you guys can come over here and come see the chit show for yourself, right? And I think the last batch of people who had Rona. Um, like whoever hasn't had it, I think they're getting it now in the last couple of months, maybe the last two months, at least down here in South Florida, guys. I know because my wife ended up getting it and she was one of the last Mohicans in the house and we thought she was weird. We, we all looked at her funny, but then she got it and we're like, and we still looked at her weird because we're now we're like, hey, no, you get away from us. Um, but she finally got it and that was a chit show when we all had it and she didn't have it. And so, so yeah, I mean, I guess it's a good thing, right? People are, are already almost uh, done with it, right? Look, it's a lot harder to get it once you had it. And I'll trust, trust me guys, when you have it and you beat it, you have such peace of mind because all that fear that has been instilled in your brain just goes away because you're like, okay, uh, it's gonna be much harder for this to hurt me going forward until something else new comes out and, and that'll scare the crap out of you. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just telling you what, what I know. These are the guys that were tied up. This, this is, this is, uh, this is going to be a guaranteed chit show later, guys. Um, I'm filming with another camera right now because I wanted to go live streaming and this is the camera I normally use to live stream. So, but I heard, I already had it all set up and I said, you know what, I'm going to do a nice long video so you guys see exactly what goes on over here at the boat ramp. We have music. We're so good. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. They're gonna they're gonna get a commercial soon, and we'll be fine. So a lot, a lot of boats are going to start coming out, guys. Um, I do expect a, a big, uh, a lot of people coming out. Have a good day, guys.
Oh boy. Oh, we got the, these guys are our little regulars. Well, listen up, guys. Because we got some music over here by these guys, I'm gonna have to end this video. Alfred Mountain are making a scene. As always, I'm out of here. Music kills videos on YouTube.